Take a break. いらっしゃいませ。Watch this. Fun with this. 
Hey, boss. We're back. It got pretty crazy back there. But you know what? Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> I 
classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't you start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nona Mia's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something... Even worse, the Nanoha situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nanoha-san? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She gives she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. And she went shopping. Yeah, she looks great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! Nanoha-san, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop. Expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, um, we don't know you. No, you don't. I'm Saiko. Alright, so, is Psycho your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha! Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm not a sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, not a twin. Do you have the same, you know? job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender. At a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah, he may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Orohime Land are probably gonna shut down. 
Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know... At his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> what, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoa-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister... Did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait, what exactly did he say to you? What? You have your employees doing that? Basically, the home your sister put your dad in? It's a racket run by the Seiryu clan.
They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her, even now. But at this point, the secret's kinda out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho, I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys, anyway? They're like, uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh... Oh, hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Uh, hey, what, what are you doing? Whoa! Hey. Hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Stop! Stop! Boss? Boss? Loma! Loma! He's here! Loma! Loma! That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why'd they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then, why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. 
but I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. What are their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. They might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. Trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. Well, they don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Lao Ma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Well, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh yeah, he takes care of them. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Mabuchi. With all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep, and milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. They know it, too. But don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm -hmm. How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <sighs> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked.
But after she died, I just wanted out. <sighs> Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him, right?